Hey guys, welcome back to our channel where I inspire your desire to be great, to be great, to be great. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching another video today. So as you guys can tell by the title of this video, it is a motivational video. Um, and in today's video, this is something I want to talk to y'all about. At first I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about, but then um, on my Facebook memory, this post popped up and it was one of my very popular um, posts and I wanted to like touch on it and do a video on it. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope this motivate, encourage someone because when I read it, I was definitely motivated. I was definitely encouraged and I figured I would just do a video on it to do the same. So I'm going to get straight into it. So on um, the quote says, don't allow waiting to wear you out. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Don't allow waiting to wear you out. Just because things are hard and aren't happening as quickly as you think doesn't mean you should give up. I'm going to read that one more time. Just because things are hard and aren't happening as quickly as you think doesn't mean you should give up. At the right time, everything will fall into place. Give time a chance and keep being patient. And that's what I wanted to read. Tell you guys, I'm going to elaborate it. I'm going to elaborate on it a little bit more. And I'm going to read it one more time. Just so it could sink in. Just so it could marinate. Just so y'all could get it. You know, don't allow waiting to wear you out. Just because things are hard and aren't happening as quickly as you think doesn't mean you should give up. At the right time, everything will fall into place. Give time a chance and keep being patient. And... I know I've fallen victim of this a few times, which is why I feel so comfortable talking about it. So I know we all have our goals that we want to achieve. We have things in life that we want, that we desire, that we want to accomplish, right? And some things just take time, right? We have to be patient, but I feel like sometimes in the process of being patient, we get lost. We get caught up in the fact that it's not happening fast enough or it's not happening at the same time that it happened for this person. And I just wanna encourage whoever is watching this video, um, don't let waiting wear you out. You know, sometimes you have to find a way to give yourself hope um, based on whatever you're waiting for. Let's say you're waiting for a certain career to come through or you want to become a parent or you want to graduate from school or you want to find your dream job. Whatever the, the dream or the goal it is that you're trying to accomplish, if you are waiting or you feel like you've been waiting for a long time don't give up you know find a way to motivate yourself keep the end goal in mind remind yourself why you want to achieve that goal remind yourself why you want to accomplish that goal remind yourself of when you accomplish that goal what's going to be possible so one of my latest accomplishments that I want to use as an example in this video is, um, as I told y'all in my previous video, but I'm going to tell y'all again, I did get my citizenship and I'm super, super, super excited. It took me 20 years to get my citizenship. 20 years, y'all. That is a long time. Like, y'all don't understand how long of a time that is. So, y'all see on my channel that I travel a lot. I love traveling. I enjoy traveling, but I could not go out the country. And for many, many, many years, I wanted to go out the country. I wanted to go back home. I wanted to revisit home, but I couldn't. Why? Because I didn't have my citizenship. I didn't have a passport. I mean, yeah, I didn't have a passport that I could travel with, so I couldn't go out the country. But 20 years later, you know, I accomplished getting my citizenship. It took a long time. Sometimes I felt like giving up. Sometimes I didn't feel like, you know, studying for the test, filling out the paperwork. If I'm not mistaken, I had to fill out the paperwork twice because the first time I did it um, and I thought I was ready to do it, um, you know, the first time I did it, things didn't work out. Not that I felt the test, but the timing just wasn't right for me to submit it. Oh, that's why. Because financially, I didn't have the money. I'll just be honest with you guys. I didn't have the money to submit it because I think it's like over a thousand dollars to put in for your citizenship or is it like 600 I don't remember but that was I just didn't have the money at the time okay so I felt like um, I had filled out the paperwork and everything I was gonna put it in and then I realized okay I can't afford to do this right now so I had to shelf it I had to put it to the side and then um, you know my information changed when I was finally ready to put in my citizenship right and I had to refill out the paperwork all over again I did not feel like doing it if you've ever gone through the process of becoming a U.S. citizen you know it could be a long process 
process it could be a lot of paperwork to fill out so having to refill out all those paperwork I didn't feel like it but again I didn't allow waiting to wear me out you know I didn't allow waiting to say I'm not gonna apply for my citizenship or anything like that you know when the perfect timing was right when I was able to put the money together and submit the papers I finally did it and to make matters worse, I'm about to tell y'all, to make matters worse, this was around like COVID time that I put my paperwork in. Everything slowed down. So usually, um, I don't remember the exact time frame, but I'll give you an example. Like, let's say it will take like a few months if it wasn't for COVID, but with COVID, it took like twice as longer to get, you know, your paperwork. I mean, for them to respond to you and everything like that. Again, I've already been waiting for what, 18, 19 years to put in this paperwork so that I can get my citizenship, so that I could travel internationally, right? But you know things just it was like one obstacle after another after another but i kept going no matter what and i didn't allow waiting to wear me out so you that's watching this video that's what i want to encourage you don't let waiting wear you out long story short finally i was able to you know put in my citizenship they got back to me several months later it got to the point where I was like, I thought like, okay, they just not gonna respond or whatever the case might be, but they responded to me, I got accepted for it. Then fast forward to make matters even more crazier, um, after I finally got my citizenship, usually they mail you back like your paperwork, um, like your citizenship certificate and your passport, but this time they only mailed me back my passport, my citizenship like paperwork, it took like a good two months for them to mail it back to me. And of course, you need that um certificate or whatever to prove that you are a citizen so you know all of that hassle but it was definitely worth it now today i could go anywhere that i want to in the world so that's what i'm i'm using that story as an example to tell you that's watching this video don't allow waiting to wear you out whatever goal you're waiting to achieve or waiting for the right time to pursue keep going you know keep going after after that goal stay patient sometimes you might be stuck sometimes you might feel like there's absolutely nothing you can do about it but don't let that um don't let that cause you to be discouraged don't let that cause you to be down for too long just keep your keep the end goal in mind because my end goal is to be able to travel the world and now i have my passport and i can literally go anywhere in the world that i want to which i'm excited about so keep going no matter what just because things are hard and they're they aren't happening as quickly as you think it doesn't mean you should give up let's say you're sick or you're not feeling well or your body has to heal or come back from you know whatever condition it's in right give it time it's going to happen but don't say oh it's taking so long it's never going to happen don't let waiting wear you out so bad to where you start doubting to where you start believing that it's not going to happen anymore where you give up on the possibility of the thing that you're waiting for to happen to happen it took me 20 years to get my citizenship but i got it and yeah it's 20 years later and now i could go back home if i want to when i want to and i could travel anywhere in the world if i want to and at the right time like i said everything will fall into place like you might not understand the timing or why it's taking so long but i feel like everything happens for a reason and it's a reason why it's taken longer than it's supposed to. Like, I feel like in everything, there's a lesson that you can learn. My lesson from my citizenship is no matter how long something takes, just be patient, just wait it out. Cause once it comes, it comes, you know, once it happens, it happens and nothing could take it away from happening. You know, nobody could take away the fact that I have my citizenship, citizenship now and I can literally go anywhere in the world that I want to. Like that fact cannot change. So whenever, whatever you're waiting for happens, it can't be changed. And you just have to remember that and give time a chance. A lot of times I feel like we're very impatient and I'm speaking to myself as I'm speaking to y'all because I struggle with patience a lot, <laughs> if I may say, but my citizenship definitely taught me the importance of patience, that things don't happen overnight, you know, no matter what it is, like success doesn't happen overnight. Um, your goals don't happen just overnight. It's a process. And I feel like in that process, there's something that you can learn. There's something that you could take away 
from the process of whatever it is that you're waiting for to happen so just keep going keep being patient just like me i have goals i have desires i have things that i want to come to pass in my life you know things that i want to achieve but i have to be patient in the process you know sometimes i want it to just happen like this but it's like if it just happened like that you're not going to learn what you're supposed to learn you know you're not going to grow and evolve the way that you're supposed to you know sometimes like there's some people you know they achieve success at a very young age and that's wonderful but they can handle that success there's some people they can't handle success until they reach a later age so it don't happen until a later time you know so wherever you are in the process in your journey just keep being patient give time a chance you know everything happens for a reason and whatever it is that you're waiting for to happen it's going to happen it's going to work out for good and just stay encouraged stay positive comment below um you know like comment subscribe comment below if you want to share like something that you're waiting for to happen in your life that hasn't happened yet or if you feel like you're in the process of something happening finally that you've been waiting for it to happen um comment below so that's all i have for you guys in this video thank you guys for tuning in i will see you guys in the next video where i inspire your desire to be great to be great